of Grease. Hey guys, it's Sean from Engines and Elbow Grease. As many of you probably know, if you know anything about small engines, Kohler Courage engines are great until they're not. Um, they run really good, they're really quiet, they're really good on fuel, but they crack blocks. And I was always told the bolts back out um, and catch the bottom of the flywheel and that's what cracks the block because the sump is on the top. So you split the case from the top side so the bolts actually bolt underneath the flywheel. I have a Husqvarna riding mower here. It's a um, 20K46 with a Cola Courage, 20 horse Cola Courage. Uh, I picked it up cheap, 50 bucks. It, run, it ran when I picked it up, but it had a cracked block and JB weld down the side and it didn't, it leaked. But I decided to keep it and I'm gonna rebuild this Kohler Courage. So we'll get you in here. Let's start tearing it apart, split the block. I wanna split the sump off of it and look in there and see what I'm actually gonna need. I know I'm gonna need a lower case, which I can get on eBay, um, a couple hundred bucks, but I don't know if I need like a balance shaft. And, bearings or bushings or seals, you know, other, everything else that's inside the engine. So I'm going to start tearing this apart. I'll go through it with you um, and we'll see what's broken together. So without any further ado, let's jump into it and I'll show you the machine. So here's the machine. It's a uh, probably early 2010s Husqvarna uh, YTH 20K46. Need some work on the deck. Um, too, but the deck is not rotted at all. There's no rust on it. Uh, it's in really good shape. It's just uh, a little tweaked. Like I said, I did get this running last year after I picked it up, but it didn't run well. I never mowed with it. I just drove it around the yard for about a minute. And uh, then I was like, yeah, this engine needs to be gone through uh, or replaced completely. And initially I was going to just replace it with, ideally I wanted to put another Cola Courage in it in case I wanted to sell it, you know, it would look better um, with having a same replacement engine in it but man alive are they expensive like a even just a used one uh ones with cracked blocks like three four hundred bucks so i'm like okay i'm not going that route so i'm going to rebuild this one as you can see i got the jb weld off of there you can see the, the cracked block goes all the way down around the corner there um but the top cover is fine i do see there's a broken bolt here so it looks like something whacked that and shook it off, but that is not under the flywheel. So I'm not really sure what broke that. Could have just been vibration. Let's start with getting this fuel tank out of here. There's a huge nest back there. Also the lights didn't work when I got it. So I'm sure the wiring for the lights is chewed back there in that nest. So let's start with getting a little bit more room. I'll pull the fuel tank out of it and um, I'll get my shot back in here, vacuum out that nest. And then we'll start tearing the top part of the engine apart so we can split that sump off. <laughs>
crack right there. But I don't see anything broken. second video once um, once I got parts and we'll build it together and see how it runs so thanks for all the support guys appreciate you very much um, make sure to like comment subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet share this video with your friends if you like it or if you have friends that are into this small engine stuff I'd really appreciate it, it helps me out a lot thanks we'll see you in the next one